Hello folks, today I have the questions are for 2021 May June paper 2-3 and the question number is 1. It is concerned with the chapter measurement, uh, the first few questions and then it is about vectors. Uh, <clears throat> so the uh, questions are for measurement is not so difficult but uh, I have uh, got a request from people about this vector section. So let's just skim through the, uh, skim through the uh, uh, unit measurement or unit type. It says uh, 1a a property of a vector quantity that is not a property of a scalar quantity is direction yes of course for example vector has a direction but speed does not state two other scalar quantities and two other vector uh, quantities so we have to name some scalar quantities there length mass time etc vector quantities force acceleration and so on so state two properties that are possessed by both vector and scalar uh, scalar and vector physical quantities so these two encompass most of the physical quantities and of course uh, they should have a value which we often call as a magnitude they should have a magnitude and uh, all and then they should have units so they should be expressed in some standard form which we call as units then then comes the uh, main vector section a ship at uh, sea is uh, traveling with a velocity of 13 meter per second in a direction 35 degree east of north. So north is this, east of north is this. So 35 degree. In still water as shown in figure 1.1, 1.1. Determine the magnitudes of the components of the velocity of the velocity of the ship in the north, in the north, northwest component and uh, the east direction. So we have to find the component in the north and east direction. So for the north, I don't need to draw arrows, but here I do need to draw like this. So uh, for the north where there is the angle given, the component should be equal to. So the velocity to the north should be equal to, should be equal to this uh, 13 into cos of 35 degree. Should be, and the velocity towards the east should be equal to, should be equal to this velocity into sine of 35 degree because we have to realize that the component where the uh, where the angle is will be cosine and where there's not angle will be the sine so it will be it will be so it is a 13 into a cos of 35 35 uh, bracket close will be equal to so this is 10 point so it is 10.6489 and something so this will be most closely will be equal to 10.6 when I round it off to three significant figures. So if I do it in uh, two significant figures, it will be 11. So, so th same thing for this uh, sine factor. Uh, so it should be, so if I do sine factor, it will be equal to 7.7.4565 and so on. So it should be equal to, equal to 7 point, uh, so this is, this becomes 6. And this will be 7.5 5 uh, meter per second and uh, meter per second so north component is uh, 10.6 meter per second and uh, east component is 7.5 meter per second now <coughs> in the next piece we have the ship now uh, experiences a tidal current. The ship now, the tidal current. So I like to fold this thing and show it here. So I'm folding out of this uh, uh, view. So I'll be bringing it now. Yes. So now what it says is the ship now experiences a tidal current. Yes, yeah, some uh, some waves along the tides. The water in the sea moves with a velocity of 2.7 meter per to the west. So water moves like this, like this, it is 2.7. So calculate the resultant velocity component of the ship in the east direction. So we have to find the component to the east now. So initially this velocity was, it was a 7.5, 7.5 and now it is 2.7. So the resultant in the east is, so V resultant towards the east is equal to is equal to the 7.5 which is just calculated minus it is 2.7 2.7 so this will be equal to 0.5 minus 2.7 so sum of uh, 
uh, you people will be will be criticizing me for using a calculator yes i do need calculator for these uh, things my habit is very much spoiled so this is 4.8 meter per second now use your answers in b1 b1 means uh, this here here and uh, b2 b2 means here to determine the magnitude of the resultant velocity of the ship so we need to find the whole resultant so since the tidal current is uh, to to the east west only only it does not affect anything north so that's why our v total resultant will be equal to equal to v north square plus v resultant east square root so equal to v north should be equal to 10.6 squared plus 4.8 squared so it should be equal to so now it should be equal to uh, 10.6 uh, squared plus plus uh, 4.8 squared equal to and this uh, when taken root will be equal to yeah 11.60 something so equal to 11.636 and so on meter per second equal to 11.6 so i'll write it as 11.6 now use your answers in b1 and b2 again b1 and b2 so b2 is this and b1 is this to determine the angle between north and the resultant velocity of the ship so the resultant velocity should be somewhat like this somewhat like this some this angle so i need to find i need to find 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 this angle this alpha angle so this alpha angle should be equal to equal to this component this component component by this component this component so this by this so i must have alpha is equal to 10 inverse of inverse of this velocity so this velocity is v resultant east which is 4.8 so it is like this v resultant then east by by we have got v north north so equal to 10 inverse it is 4.8 divided uh, the v north component was 10.6 10.6 which we used here 10.6 equal to so i must have a shift to 10 4.8 divided 10.6 equal so it's equal to 24.36 and this becomes this becomes simply if i do like this it is 24.4 uh, degrees so the answer is 24.4 degrees degrees are written here so i should not be writing this so this is the complete uh, answer to this question